Thank you, Carlos. That's far too kind. Well, thank you everybody for being here and welcome to the future home of the Beat Center. As you can see, the Beat Center is an acronym that was developed by my wife Dorothea and I for bringing everyone all together. And there are many people here tonight or today that I wish to thank for their commitment to our vision of in fact bringing everyone all together. First is my wife Dorothea, who is the reason that the Soul Kitchen is what it is today. She makes me in fact look good every day, all day, taking the credit for all her hard work, believe me. Um, quickly to the board and to the staff of the JBJ Soul Foundation, uh, Leo Carlin, Craig Spencer, Steve Perna, who is in fact here today, Brother Steven, um, Mimi Box, and especially Heather Goldfarb and Tamar Havnani, who worked so hard to make this vision a reality. I have to uh, underline that because in fact, without their dedication and consistent commitment, we would not be here today. I want to thank you, ladies. A special thanks to Richard Saker, who is here, even without his lovely wife, Laura, who is a huge supporter of the Soul Kitchen and continues to be a, a committed partner here. Uh, to Larry Rogers, who uh, was fortunate enough to help us uh, convince Mr. Tepper to become involved and, uh, and to grill me like I've never been grilled before, ever, by anyone. <laughs> I have lead singer's disease. I am not accustomed to anyone giving the lead singer a hug. <laughs> I want to thank uh, Mayor Kelleher, who uh, when I first met here on, the, on another site that we were um, seeking out, he said, if there's anything we can do. And I knew that uh, in Tom's River that we would have the support of our community leaders and, and for your leadership, Mayor, thank you very much. To Carlos Rodriguez, who uh, it's, it's his expertise in the field that again, will help to make all of us shine. Uh, to Chef Ray and the Food Bank, who are, are not only going to train people, which was always the next step at the Soul Kitchen to have more on-site job training opportunities, uh, I thank him. And to Pat Donahue, because without Pat, she's the one that has the boots on the ground since Superstorm Sandy. She's the one that's gonna open the doors to the neighbors not to the, to, the, to the banks and to the, uh, to the donors, not to the media. That's why you have the lead singer. <laughs> I need Pat to knock on the doors of those in need. And I know that we can count on Pat just for that field of ex her expertise. So I'd also like to thank the newest member of the band. I, I, should, say, I, mean, I should say team, uh, David Tepper. David Tepper is a Jersey guy. David Tepper, I, I had the opportunity to meet a year ago at a Robin Hood event. And if you can imagine, uh, in Manhattan, as events go, Robin Hood is big. Robin Hood makes sure that every nickel of every donate, every nickel that is donated gets directly to those in need. And David got on the stage and he said, what about Jersey? And he, uh, of course, stepped up, put up, as they did uh, in Superstorm Sandy, but he said at that dinner that day, there's so much going on across the bridges and tunnels. And there I was way in the back thinking to myself, boy, do I have an idea for him. So I was able to go down and, and share our vision of the Soul Kitchen with David and with Larry and, uh, and, and explain what it was that we were looking to do. I, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, this should be called the David Tepper Beat Center and that, that would sound just fine <laughs> with me. Um, but again, thank you from my heart, David, for, for your commitment to our collective mission. This is in fact another example of what I've always liked to call the power of we. Well, each of our organizations around the table could have done their jobs and taken it to the next level here, in fact, in Ocean County. By bringing us all together, we have decided to push ourselves because we believe that we can find more creative ways to improve access to healthy and fresh foods in the areas still devastated by super source Sandy. That we can create opportunities for families who will be able to make healthier food choices and that we can help create jobs and provide the services and resources all under one roof, thereby cutting down on the travel time between these services. That is just another one of the many lessons I've learned along the way 
that people need services, job opportunity, as well as being fed a good, healthy meal in one location, it makes one moment of their day just that much easier. Um, these are just a few of the reasons why we came to get together to create the Beat Center. In the last five years, we've been inspired by many of our neighbors in need who have come to us seeking help. But it is us who should be thanking them for providing guidance and identifying how a network of partnering resources could come to best fit the needs of a community like Tom Shirley. And although it has taken us a while to find the right location and the resources, we have had incredible support. Our vision of bringing people together around the table is coming together, thanks to all of you in this room. So today as we stand here together as one, with the power of we, to introduce what will be a vibrant center of hope, learning, community, volunteerism, involvement, collaboration, and in fact, unlimited possibility. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you when we open the doors at the grand opening. Have a great day.